Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest and Benick handheld, which is the RG351 MP. I'd like to thank um, Ploylab, who are the sponsors of the channel, for providing me with this new handheld from Anbinic. So with no further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see from the box, um, it's exactly the same as all of the other boxes, but this is the RG351 MP. Um, on the side you've got the picture of the console itself, then you've got the specs, um, so um, it's still using the RK3326 um, chip, which is the 1.5 gigahertz. Um, it has a 1 gig of RAM, it has a 3.5 um, a inch 640x480 IPS screen. Um, and yeah, what I will say about this new handheld is it's exactly the same as the RG351M. Um, this is the blue version that I've got. So yeah, there are some minor differences between the um, 351M and the 351MP and also the 351P, um, which we'll go into later. But let's do the unboxing. So as usual with Anbinic, we do get the usual um, accessories. You get the USB-C cable, which is standard. Um, you also get a screen protector, which I've already fitted to the um, 351MP. And you also get the um, Wi-Fi dongle. Unfortunately, this um, model doesn't come with built-in Wi-Fi. Um, so you're stuck with um, having to plug this into the top of it. I know people won't be too happy about that. And you get the usual instruction manual that you get with um, all of the Anbinic stuff. Okay, let you know how to um, use the console button wise when you're in emulators and so on. So the actual um, handheld itself, um, like I said before, I got the blue one. And I have to st say it, it is absolutely stunning. Um, build quality is really, really good. Um, it's very similar to the 351M, as you can see. Um, but my God, they're just it's such a nice um, handheld to hold. The, the build quality is very premium. It just looks fantastic. So let's look at the specs. Unfortunately, spec-wise, everyone will be familiar with these. Um, it's still using that very old rock chip RK3326 at 1.5 gigahertz. It's still using the Mali G31 GPU. It still only has one gig of RAM, but it is using a three the three and a half inch IPS display at 640 by 480 with a ratio of 4.3, which is fantastic for retro games. It has a 35 milliamp battery and the Wi-Fi dongle. So yeah, nothing new there really. Basically, Anbinic have taken the best parts of the 351M and the 351P and put them together for the MP, as the name suggests. Um, but as I said before, build quality is superb. The buttons um, just have a nice feel, a um, lot of depth to them. You won't be disappointed with those. Um, yeah, nothing's really changed between the 351M and the 351P. Um, you know, the, the actual um, buttons and everything are really, really good. They, they do feel premium. They have a nice touch to them. Um, very responsive when you're playing games. You get the usual L1 and um, L2 buttons. Um, they are really, really good. Though I have to say the um, L1 and R1 buttons um, maybe is a little bit flimsy, I would say. You get the usual um, USB ports for the DC in and to plug in your um, Wi-Fi dongle um, power on off button as well as the volume up and down. So nothing's really changed from the 351M to be honest with you. Um, it does take the dual cards, one with the operating system, one with the actual games, which is good. And it has your stereo speakers, um, which is also really good, as well as your reset button. On the back, again, you have the um, rubberized grips um, that you find on the other um, models. And you have the name, um, and Benick, and the, the model number. So, yeah, but, I mean, the finish on the, on the actual handheld is superb. Um, I really can't complain about it. It just looks stunning. Um, I love the blue colour. Um, I think it's called Ocean Blue that um, Ploy Lab sent me. Um, overall, it is a really, really premium um, handheld to hold and to use. 
However, Anne Benick are just too late at the party with this one um, with regards to the, the specs. Um, everyone's sick of that same um, chipset now. Um, you can find it in most handhelds. And we're now moving forward to the new um, breed of handhelds that are using higher specs than this. Um, and, and it's such a shame that Anne Benick have decided to bring this so late um, to market. It just really doesn't make sense. Um, my previous reviews of the 351M and the 351P really um, is what this machine is. Nothing's changed with it when it comes to gameplay. It has the same issues as the previous um, machines when it comes to emulating, um, such as um, Dreamcast and... Um, the PSP and so on. Um, you know, this handheld that was sent to me comes with over 20,000 games on it, which is fantastic. However, because of the old chipset that they're using, um, you know, when it comes to your N64, your PSP, it's not going to play all of those games perfectly. You know, yes, when you're playing your normal um, games such as your NES, your Sega, um, your Master System, the Super Nintendo, and so on, Game Boy Color, um, fantastic. Um, you know, you're not going to be spoiled for choice, certainly not. But when you go to those bigger hitting machines, at this later stage um, of handhelds, you want a, a machine that's going to play them perfectly. And this chipset just isn't up to that standard. Um, you know, and, and I think really Anbenik have really let themselves down by releasing this so late. This should have been out six, seven months ago and it probably would sell a hell of a lot better than what it probably will now. But saying that, all's not lost. You know, at the end of the day, you do have the um, screen that was on the 351p on this particular model, which looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it's very sharp, it's very crisp. The um, ratio, the 4.3 um, ratio is perfect for um, retro gaming. And as you can see, the colours really pop out of the screen. I've got no complaints whatsoever when it comes to the screen quality. It is absolutely superb. Um, this particular model, again, uses MUELEC, um, which everyone will be familiar with. It's a really good... Um, out of the box system to use, operating system to use. And as you know, I do all of my reviews out of the box. I don't mess about with the, with anything. I don't mess about with the settings. I like to show people what they will get when they buy this machine. Um, and to be fair, out of the box, this works perfectly. Um, the operating system isn't the best. Yes, it does have some issues with it. And yes, you can update to a custom firmware, which I would recommend. However, if you don't want to do any of that, um, what you get out of the box is perfectly playable. Um, you know, and it's a good it's a good handheld, don't get me wrong. As I mentioned before, the 351 MP doesn't come with built-in Wi-Fi, so you do get this dongle, and it's just a simple matter of plugging it in the OTG slot, and then you go into the settings and um set up your Wi-Fi connection. Very simple to do. The only downfall is you're left with it um, stuck out the top of the um, handheld, which is a little bit unsightly. Um, but it's not really a deal breaker. Um, some will not like it. Some won't be bothered. Um, it is recommended to use it because you can download your additional themes. Um, you can download your additional bev bevels. And um, obviously, you need to be able to do your updates um, um, periodically. So you do need to have it connected to the internet at some point. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice if uh, Anne Benick had, had been able to build it into the um, 351 MP um, rather than having to use a dongle. But it's one of those things. There's not a great deal we can do about that. So what we'll do now is I'll show you um, a little bit of gameplay from some of the emulators. What I will say is, and what I would suggest, is this isn't going to be a full-blown review of each and every um, emulator that's on the system. And I'm not going to go over the usual games that we would normally show um, to see how the handheld runs. That's purely because I've already done that in my previous videos for the RG351M and also the RG351MP. This handheld 
that I'm doing now, the 351 MP, works exactly the same as those other two handhelds when it comes to playing games. The only difference being the screen. Okay, so the screen quality is much better on the MP. Okay, it's very similar to what you get on the P. But gameplay wise and um, emulator quality, it's exactly as it is on those other two handhelds. So what I would suggest is that you go to the um, either my website and you can read the reviews on those other two handhelds or additionally you can have a look on the videos that i did on those two handhelds as well and um, they're on the channel so when it comes to playing games if you want to go and take a look at those videos and um, they are a lot more in depth when it comes to uh, talking about how well it runs the games okay so what i'll say is at the moment i'll um Shut up and I'll let you watch a little bit of um, gameplay.
So there you have it, guys. Would I recommend the 351 MP? Absolutely. However, if you already own the other handhelds, then I would maybe pass on this. But if you don't have the 351M or the 351P, then this definitely is a handheld to have. It's just a shame that it's come to market so late. But, you know, there it is. Um, it's a decent handheld. So thanks for watching the channel. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and share. Thanks a lot. Bye.